Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, person who hasn't played a fighting game in a long time. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. I haven't played a whole lot of games on stream a whole, whole lot recently either. But yes. Thank you for your patience. But yes, I understand that it is somewhat challenging sometimes when I uh, am not able to put forth the consistency that I hope for, but it is what it is. But yes, unfortunately, yeah, more of the same, basically. Not going to go into it in too much detail. But yes, so, today, Guilty Gear. But yeah, it's been, or more specifically, Guilty Gear Strive. It's been a little while since we've played this. But yes, I have played it a little bit within the past month or so. <laughs> I've played maybe an hour, roughly, at a friend's house. But yes. So, I have not done much serious practicing, so I am woefully unprepared for uh, Dizzy, I think. Anyway, new, new Guilty Gear character, by the way. Main reason that I'm here right now. But yes. Just sort of felt like playing Guilty Gear anyway. Realized it's been a while since I've streamed. I don't wanted to do something about that. So we're going to have a laid-back fighting game stream, as I kind of learned Dizzy, maybe. But yes, so, not a whole lot to be said. Yeah, I will try and figure things out, basically. We will see what the what the schedule is like. I'm not going to overcommit to anything at this point. But yeah, I think that should basically cover us. So, into... Right, hold on. I recalled just before I just before I swapped over that I uh, forgot to actually get the game ready on my other. <laughs> but I forgot to get the game ready, so hold on. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I forgot to start capturing it. Guilty Gear Strive, and that should be good. Okay, here we are video games. But yeah, so, like I said, it's been a good while since I played Strive with any great degree of seriousness. Never played it all that seriously before anyway, but even even more so now. But yes, so we're going to play some online. And again, we're just kind of going to get a feel for things. Yes, much has changed since I played this game to any significant degree. But yeah, I today marks my very first time using the uh, the wild assault mechanic. I went into training a little bit. Um, I think this should be fine. But yes. But yes. Anyway, so like, there's a there's new mechanics and stuff. The game's the game's very different from what I recall. But yes. So, let's see. I don't know, I suppose there's not a whole lot to be said. One thing I do want to keep a keep an eye on is the game volume. It looks pretty good so far. But this game can be a little bit loud. Oh, okay. So we're not gonna get much time to practice, it looks like. Maybe I should have done some practice before we did this, but, uh, ooh, ABBA. All right. So yeah, I've played a little bit of ABBA. I recently got the, uh, the thing, the game, all that remains of the game. So yeah, so I kind of know ABBA a little bit. Hmm. I know Abba enough to know that I don't want to get hit by her, one of her moves. Because yes, Abba has a move where she can go into... Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yes, anyway, you probably... There we go. You noticed, probably, that she was in a slightly different state there for a while, up until... Uh... 
So yes, up until she, uh, her key there kind of, uh, vomited on her. Alright. I'm getting a little bit, a little bit careless. I'm throwing out, uh, specials too often. Ooh, okay, that was not good. Ooh, nice, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll take what I can get. But yes, anyway. So Abba certainly has the potential to be very aggressive. She's quite slow by default. But then, there we go. Yeah, quite slow by default, but she can be put into a, into a state where she is much faster and stronger, generally speaking. But yes. So one thing... That might prove to be a bit of a challenge for me. Is, uh, like I said, not very... Ooh, that's the move that I don't want to get hit by. Because, yeah, it gives her a lot of her meter that she uses to go into her buff state. Yes, yeah, so it gives her a lot of the resource that she used to go into her buff state and puts her immediately into that state. Very nice. Honestly, I didn't expect that to uh, go very well. <laughs> yes, the Abba was a little bit, a little bit too aggressive for their sake, I think. Yeah, you kind of have to be aggressive to uh, really make it as Abba, I think. But oh, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, so being out of practice, I'm not so great with. Uh, Oh dear. Not so great with uh, special inputs in general, but especially with uh, ones more complicated than a quarter circle. Oh dear. Alright, I'm not sure that this round is going to go my way, but... Oops. Especially if I'm doing stuff like that and losing my turn. Alright. Yeah, one thing... Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright. They got punished, but I didn't. Ooh, okay. Didn't uh, take into account the fact that they can just get all nasty. But yes. So, Dizzy's Heavy Slash here. If you hit the opponent with the, the final hit of it, it freezes them. You've probably seen my opponents get freezed a few... Freezed? Frozen a few times. And that sets them up in a good position for me to use uh, Mikhail Solar. This quite strong move here. Whoops, I don't know why I decided to do that. Alright. If I'm... I've still got this pretty well in hand. No, never mind. I was gonna say, I've still got this pretty well in hand if I don't get too silly, but... Getting silly is sort of my main thing. Alright, well... Nice, okay. I got a little bit too aggressive there, but they were even more aggressive, so it worked out. But yeah, so there's other ways to freeze opponents, as you've probably seen. The Ice Pillar. This was used for catching fish, is what it is known as. Alright, I don't want to be in the corner here. I don't... well... I guess that solves the problem of me being in the corner, but not quite in the way that I would like. I think we might lose this, but yeah, especially if we do things like that. Yeah, mashing in the corner is not a good idea. Yeah, not bad, not bad. But yeah, don't have all that much insight to share. I'm like I like I have said. Ooh, all right, nice burst. Didn't want to get frozen. Seems like. And you know what? I don't blame you. All right, let's make some space here. Whoop. All right. 
Well. I have suffered greatly for my hubris. And I'm probably, yeah, I shouldn't have crouched there. Unfortunate. So, a little bit of measured aggression will probably do well. Lurking but hope you get all the wins. Thank you. So yes, I'm very out of practice, and this is uh, my first time playing this character because she just got released today, but... so yes, anyway. These little things that I was just throwing out are, uh, the move is known as, we talked a lot together. Oop. Oh dear. I have no idea how to integrate them into my game plan. More or less, I just kind of know how to confirm from, uh, far heavy, or far light slash into Mikhail Sword. And that's about, <laughs> that's about where my strategy ends. Yeah, that was a pretty weak showing, I have to admit. Not bad, though. <clears throat> but yes. So, we'll get into more complex things, or rather, I will get into more complex things, perhaps, as I have the opportunity to practice. But yeah, so again, I can combo like so, and that's a pretty good way to push the enemy away corner carry and all that. But yes. There's also a heavy slash version of Mikhail Sword that's a little bit harder to combo into. But yeah, ideally... Whoop. Ideally, I want to set up an opponent to uh, freeze, basically, before I can pull that off. Because yes, this isn't just a normal, like, stun. They are frozen, in fact. But yes. Um... Yeah, once again, like I said, I'm not so good with uh, inputs other than uh, quarter circles at this point. So having to do a half circle and then a reverse it, not fully reverse it, as in complete, completely uh, invert the motion, but quarter circle or half circle front, then back, then back to front. Yeah, that, uh, both of her, both of Dizzy's supers require that motion, which is, uh, not gonna do well by me, I don't think. Nice, nice. But yeah, that would have been a good time to use Mikhail's sword, I think. But yeah, I do... Ram's got some range on her, so I need to respect that. All right, all right. And she's also got to respect my range. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, so once again, my heavy slash and freeze, and I can do things like that. But I do have to be pretty close in order to be able to confirm into heavy slash. And it's also possible for me to uh, get kind of uh, reckless with it. And it's also possible for me to whip inputs. Nice. There we go. Very good. But yes, Light Mikhail Sword is a pretty good... Uh, Light Mikhail Sword is a pretty good way to uh, poke. Uh oh. Alright, yeah, that was a little bit reckless of me. Oh. Alright, this is probably gonna punish. Yep. Okay. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking attacking there. Oh well. So yeah, anyway, there's probably a lot that I could say about Dizzy as a character, but uh, unfortunately I don't. Uh, I don't remember much of her lore. There we go. Yeah. And there was a... Uh, that second time around when I did that, the combo, you could see uh, I didn't get the freeze. Right, I forgot the swords explode. But yeah, so I need to get the freeze in order to combo into Heavy Mikhail's sword. 
but there I didn't need the Kyle sword, so. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Alright. But yes. I guess usually, before I talk about the lore, I like to make sure that there is a sort of established baseline. But I guess probably there's a decent chance that anyone who's watching this knows at least something about Guilty Gear. But, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> I've been playing pretty much exclusively Arcanites recently, so I'm imagining probably most of my most of my audience is, if nothing else, familiar with Arcanites, and I can't necessarily guarantee a whole lot else. Alright, nice burst. Ooh, oh, right, I didn't notice the sword flying at me there. <laughs> Alright, that was foolish of me. Yeah. Okay, again, I can cancel... Alright, please don't. <laughs> okay, very good. That was foolish of me also. There we go. Alright, Imperial Ray. And a win. Very good. Yes. So it's possible for me to cancel out of my Heavy Slash before it completes, and if I do that then they don't freeze and thus I can't confirm. So yeah, ideally I wouldn't do that, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, I don't... I was going to say I don't want to be in the corner against Ramlethal, but I really don't want to be in the corner against anyone, because they can do things like that. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I got a little bit carried away there. I don't know why I didn't get the last hit of my uh, heavy slash there. But uh, I definitely didn't. Another thing that I've seen is that Dizzy's grab is pretty funny. But yes, the uh, the creature there is uh, one of Dizzy's wings, Oops. and it is Sapient, and its name is uh, Necro. The other one's name is Undine. Hmm. All right, in my Mikhail sword. Yes, I managed to get it this time. Very good. Yes, I think... No, oh, okay, we have one more potential rematch left. Putting some pressure on. That's nice. Kind of getting, uh, getting the hang of things. At the very least, I'm getting more comfortable with actually performing inputs and having things occur as a result of them. Alright. But, I am overthinking things a little bit. You're the one that keep me in the corner there. Fair enough. Right, right. I remember now. I saw in... Oh dear. I watched a trailer for uh, this update and saw some of the some of the new things that characters can do. Ramlethal didn't used to be able to shoot her sword downwards at an angle like that. Alright, that was a bit too aggressive of me. Oh, oh dear. So yeah, it does seem that we lose the... We talked a lot together. The ice fish, as some call them. But yes. It does seem that we lose those if I get hit at all. I was thinking that it was only if I got hit while creating them, but it doesn't seem that's the case. Oops. Yeah, right. I cannot confirm our close, or far light slash into heavy slash. I'm here because you've given me a place to belong. Alright, alright. I hope you want to get out of matchmaking after this because I'm realizing I forgot to get water. My water is here somewhere. But I don't have a whole lot left. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna return shortly. Um, I guess, uh, online lobby. 
But yes, be right back. Hold on, maybe. If I can find, there we go. Be right back. All right, I have returned. They say that some things that are familiar, that you have experienced before, that are easy to remember, uh, once you get back into them, are like falling off a bike sometimes. And having fallen off a bike more recently than I have uh, practiced fighting games, I will say that this is uh, not dissimilar to falling off a bike in many ways. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of things that are occurring that are unexpected, sometimes painful, poorly controlled. But we're actually doing better than I expected, to be honest. But yeah, I think one thing that sort of helps me a little bit is the sort of uh, rhythm of this, if perhaps not the substance of it. But the uh, the rhythm of the of fighting as Dizzy reminds me a little bit of Lucas playing Lucas in Super Smash Brothers. You know, Lucas has been my main in basically every Super Smash Brothers game since he was introduced into the game. Yeah, just sort of the same feeling of trying to get well for one thing, just like having a move that freezes enemies, but uh, the same sort of feeling of trying to get my opponent into a position where I can use a big cool move to finish them off, or at least, you know, do a lot of damage to them. It reminds me a little bit of uh, looking for opportunities to hit them with a, a PK Freeze or a PK Love, things like that. Yeah, we have a move here that I haven't used with Dizzy so far. Yes, Wings of Light here. Yeah, it's quite, quite an interesting move, because it deals unblockable, it just deals like unblockable damage, basically. To anyone who's around her. It takes a while to go off. It drains her tension meter continuously while it's at while it, uh, after it goes off, basically. You can see it's in a sort of, you know, standby state here for a little bit. And then you saw it earlier, it's sort of, uh, there we go. Perfect illustration. Yes. The wings become larger and you get a swirling aura around you. <laughs> we'll see how, how this uh, Johnny match treats me. I've not played much against Johnny. But yes, so I've got basically nothing to go off of here. I played a little bit of Johnny during that time that I was talking about at a friend's house. But I don't really know much about him other than he can do look like cards in the air and he can like slash them and uh you don't want him to do that you won't be a hero be the last man standing i no longer have any doubts first time seeing uh dizzy intro there too all right Oops. interesting Alright, so, Johnny's got some fast moves on him, but I have projectiles. Not that that will necessarily help me, but, but yes, so that card there, if he hits it with certain, some of, one of his, yeah, a few of his specials, it will strengthen them. Yeah, I think, or the, like, further away, uh, Ice Pillar. We probably want to use that opportunity to set up a, whoops. yeah, set up a fish or something like that. Hmm. Didn't mean to do that, but it worked out pretty well. So we're going to pretend like it, like I meant it. Whoops. Very good. Excellent. He's fine. He'll get right back up. All right, all right. Yeah, so... Or something like that. Oh. Yeah, that move is... For Roasting Chestnuts. I believe that's the name. Oh. Oh. 
Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I gotta remember that the, the poke is my quarter circle back. Alright, alright. Hopefully I... Since Johnny used properly... Well, I don't want to say used properly based on my own experience because I... Wolf wouldn't be so arrogant as to presume I know how to play Johnny properly, but... Alright, alright. Okay, very good. Didn't mean to do that specifically, but it worked out, so... We can imagine what it would be like if I had. Very nice. All right, all right. Mankind knew that they went pretty well. Society. I feel like they were hesitating a little bit more than they perhaps should have. They blamed the fair enough, fair enough. All right. Oh dear, oh dear. They're not hesitating quite so much anymore. And I'm getting a little bit reckless, so... Part of the issue here is that I kind of need to remind myself how to use my moves. Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but... Why not? Let's teach them fear. Ah, alright. Well, we just lost a whole bunch of tension for basically no damage, but... You know... It is what it is. Oops. Very good. Alright, alright. So yeah. I did also want to play Dizzy a little bit back in uh, Exard Revelator. I think... Yeah, I don't remember which... Uh, Iteration of Exard slash Revelator Dizzy. Oh dear. Didn't read that, uh, or I didn't need to read it, I just needed to react to it. But I didn't react to that, uh, dust there. So. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, again. The, bi the better part of the issues I'm having just come from the fact that I, uh, am consistently forgetting which which buttons I need to press to make my moves happen. Ah. Yeah, I didn't mean to attack there. <laughs> uh, I love I love Necro just sort of sitting there. <laughs> just watching over, you know. Alright, alright. I'm not entirely sure what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> All I know is that I probably shouldn't be doing it. Very good, very good. That was not a not a very safe uh, punish there, but I well, it wasn't a, really a punish. Well, I punished the jump. Alright, yeah, quarter circle back. Oops, uh -oh. Yeah, quarter circle back and punch. There we go. Summons the higher fish. Alright, don't get too silly with it. Oop. Definitely don't get too silly with it. Oh dear. Alright, me getting silly with it lost me the match there. That's unfortunate. Yes, I kind of wanted to use uh, Gamma Ray there, but I didn't, uh... Yeah. I wanted to use Gamma Ray there, but I... Didn't... I hesitate to say push the wrong button. The input is identical, other than which button to press. But, yeah. 
issue wasn't just me pressing the wrong button. The issue was me just not thinking about what button I needed to press. I feel like I could get something good off of a Mikhail Sword, and I'm glad I did. Oh, very good. I'll take it. Very good, very good. I like it. Alright. One thing I'm noticing is that I don't uh, have a good game plan for anti-air. The fish is probably a good way to keep myself from getting into situations where I need to anti-air, maybe? Well, I guess it's an anti-air in and of itself, but... Alright. That's good, that's good. I think it might have been a true combo, actually. Oh. Alright, there I was trying to do a super. Oop. I definitely... Alright, alright, alright. I was not trying to do that. I just used up all my tension on miss inputs. So, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think I, I pressed my, uh, my left trigger when I... Uh, by accident there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm currently using a uh, different controller from what I usually use. Oh. Yeah, so some of the particulars of where I put my hands are a little bit different. I guess the Heavy Mikhail Sword is a pretty good way to... Uh, this is a pretty good way to... Who's next? Oh, I just have a thought. That would be a, a good way to bait people into talking a lot together. Alright, that was a, an unsafe Mikhail sword. But, I'm glad they didn't really get to uh, capitalize on it. Oop, uh oh. Alright, I don't think this is going to kill, but it's going to look pretty cool. Oh! Alright, it looked cool and it killed. I can appreciate that. Very good, very good. I'm starting to understand. I know I'll get through. I'm starting to understand too. All right, all right. Not doing too bad. <laughs> but yes. So I can get some pretty good... Uh... Yeah, it's definitely not the sort of thing you'd want to use in, like, a, uh, you know, reckless leap. But it does have a lot of range on it, so it's a good way to scare people, I think. It's probably a good way to catch uh, people who are jumping unsafely. Yeah, again, this is sort of what you want to use for jumping, I think. So yeah, setting up the higher up... Uh... <coughs> oh, same Johnny. But yeah, setting up the, the higher fish and then setting up a chestnut is probably going to be a decent way to sort of try to bait them into jumping. At the very least, I might be able to sort of... I don't know. I don't know what the word it would be. I guess it's not that great of a way to necessarily get them to jump. But it worked at least once, so it can probably work again. We're already on your ship, Johnny. Early burst, that's nice. Uh, 
yeah, that is... It's probably pretty good. I know it can, like, launch a little bit. But, uh, yeah, not a lot of range on that. Alright. Nice mutual counter there. Ah. That's also a good way to uh, at least put some pressure on players who are not being sufficiently aggressive. Yeah, if I'd been a little bit more careful there, I probably could have baited Johnny into doing something. Uh oh. But I might... No, okay. We have not lost. We've lost. Not bad, though. Yeah. If I'd been a little bit more careful there, if I'd, like, dashed into blocking or something like that, I probably could have uh, made something of that, maybe even turned that into a victory, but... Yeah. Projectiles are kind of slow to set up in general, which again is a very Lucas-y kind of thing. That's pretty good. I should be paying more attention and being more careful about uh, getting freezers off. Because I want to get those uh, heavy Mikhail swords basically whenever I can uh, afford them. Oops. Ah. I keep doing that on accident. I knew I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to pull off the motion, and now I'm doing it when I don't want to. And yeah, it's not that I'm, like, trying to do a different move or anything. I'm just, uh not being sufficiently careful with my inputs. Which is definitely a big issue of mine. You had to face the mighty Johnny. Talk about a bad <laughs> Johnny. I like this voice on Johnny. Tip. Alright. We're being very respectful of each other to start out with. Ah. Ah, okay. I don't think, uh, I think he didn't realize he could block out of that. So that's why that worked. I mean, uh, it really shouldn't have by all rights. Alright. Yeah, I need to be more careful with my, again, with my anti-airs. Alright, alright. Oh, nope. Okay. I think we're gonna... I could pull this out, but I'm not that confident in it. But, a failure of confidence is confidence of failure. So, let's go for it. I have to play careful, but I can still win this. Right, that was a, a little bit foolish, but... Alright. I was gonna say I had that if I wanted it, but I evidently I didn't want it that bad. Alright. Hey, very good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she'll go a long way to check on him. You'll be fine. I think those fish just clipped into each other. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm noticing this Johnny is jumping a, a lot. I should maybe consider more flying fish. I should also consider maybe uh, being more careful with what I'm doing. Alright, alright. Getting impatient, and I'm giving up my turn before it's even started. That's fine. Alright, alright. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. I'm feeling confident. Alright. 
Could have done, yeah, could have set up better off of that, I think. But, oops. All right, that, yeah, again, that was a little bit too reckless there. I don't like what's going on in the corner here. Very good. <laughs> uh, you love it when it looks cool and it kills, and this is definitely going to kill. Very good. Oh, that almost feels a little bit disrespectful. We definitely didn't need to do that, but... Very good, very good. I enjoyed that a lot. Johnny will learn to fear the queen. Alright, right back into it. Alright, that's a pretty good, uh, a pretty obvious weakness in their game plan. They leave themselves pretty open there. Alright. And I left myself pretty open there, too. Very good. Very good. A little too reckless there, Johnny. Yeah, they're being a little bit too... Yeah, they're being very reckless with the uh, air dock patches. Which, to be fair, does work pretty well for them so far. Very good. I was kind of hoping to uh, combo into an Imperial Ray there, but... Alright. We're definitely having more things that I intend to have happen, happen. So I can be happy with that. That was not a very safe jump for me, but it worked out, so I can't complain. Hmm. Alright. Defense is, as it has always been, my weakness. Not, uh, don't have the patience to wait my turn, unfortunately. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> What on earth? Alright, I definitely didn't press a button there. I have it down to my left thumbstick. Hmm. So yeah, I definitely did not do anything that I would have thought would led would have led to what just happened there. Hmm. I mean I guess we won, so I can't complain too much, but I do need to look into that. Hmm. All right. So yeah, it's like I don't know what I don't know what exactly I'm doing there, to be honest. Um. Hmm. No, yeah. Burst is definitely. Burst is definitely or burst and uh, yeah. The things that I have been seeing happen are definitely bound to uh, my triggers, but I definitely did not press any there. I think actually, now that I think about it, you can also trigger them by pressing multiple buttons at the same time. So I guess I must not have been, uh, I must have been pressing buttons, like, wrong. Mankind you. Or at least, uh, you know, overlapping my button presses and not realizing it. Alright, alright. Yes, I also don't have much experience playing against Brid yet. You're using a lot of tension there, friend. Alright. Very good. Very 
very aggressive with the tension meter. I can respect that. Hmm. Alright. That was kind of a weird, uh... I don't know, that turned out weird looking, but... Hey, we got it, we got it done. I was trying to get a super going there, but I guess we didn't need one. Uh-oh. Alright, I need to remember that I can't, you know... I can't, uh, freeze into freeze, basically. I don't know what the details are, but... Yeah, if they've been frozen, I can't, like, immediately refreeze them. So even if they, like, I freeze into heavy, I can't do another heavy and refreeze them. Yeah, that was a very good match there, but I think that mostly it was just because the, uh, the Bridget was not being extremely careful with their resources there, and they were rather reckless with their movements. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. Hmm, yeah, again, it's possible to just do, I guess, actually, it also has, uh, this also pushes them a fair amount, so it's possible to push them out of, uh, out of range for the full, the full combo, if I'm not careful. Yeah, close slash into heavy slash. Should be pretty safe. Getting into situations where I can close slash is going to be, ah, mirror match. Quite frankly, I'm surprised it took us this long to get one. But, uh, I don't know, maybe the other Dizzy players are just higher ranking on average. Uh, I didn't get to see the, the dual Dizzy intro. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you gotta be careful of the chestnuts. You cannot sleep on roasted chestnuts. Whoop. Alright, I need to be mindful of ice. There we go. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Got a very eager foe here. Alright. Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of myself in there, uh... Growing out of moves and, uh, specials when it doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense. That was pretty, pretty good. Pretty smooth. Alright, we have, in fact, uh, ranked up. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that, but, I mean, we have been doing pretty well. You're a fast learner with skill and intuition. You're already uh, unable to enter half of the floors. There might have been more dialogue there, but... Oh well. So, we've entered a whole new world of challenges. So yeah. I definitely feel like those wins that we had there were not... Or like the... At least the... Uh... Yeah. They were not... Yeah. The fact that they were as uh, overwhelming as they were, I don't think really is a uh, measure of my proficiency there. I think that uh, we just happened to be facing opponents who were a little bit uh, unready for the type of play style you need to be able to uh, handle Dizzy pretty well. Because yeah, you do want to be, you do want to put pressure on her, especially because she can, you know, do this. And uh, I'll switch over to Kai here so I can show you. If you hit her. You do, she does lose uh, Wings of Light. And I don't know, you know, we're in training mode right now, so the meters are not quite the same as they would be normally. So I don't, I don't think it costs anything while it's not active, while it's getting set up. 
but yes. Anyway, so if Dizzy decides to do that, then you really need to put the pressure on her because you need to hit her immediately or else you're going to just lose a massive amount of HP. This is maybe not the best example because they get their HP restored like immediately if I'm not hitting them, but yeah, again, the move is unblockable. It hits you if you're even if you're already like blocking things like that. That makes the wow, that makes the, <laughs> if you can grab someone during Wings of Light, that's nasty. Yeah, anyway, so Dizzy doesn't lose Wings of Light if you hit her while she's blocking. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't control both of them simultaneously, but, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, that is a, a pretty good amount of health. Granted, it's also... It's not, like, that much health for a full tension bar. But yeah, let me... Let's see how much damage a uh, Gamma Ray does. Whenever you're ready, fellas. Okay. Granted, that was... I mean, yeah. Wings of, Wings of Light did do more damage than that. And granted, I didn't combo into... Uh, hmm. Whoop. Can I do the combo? I think I'm... Trying to do. Yeah, close slash, heavy slash, Mikhail sword. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can cancel Mikhail sword. At least not. Uh... Hmm. It doesn't seem like I can combo Mikhail sword into uh, gamma ray. I might just need to use. Uh... Yeah, I might need to rely more on. Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, rely on my other moves at the very least. Yeah, well, I don't remember the a lot of the particulars of the lore. I do remember that uh, testament here. Uh, it's quite fond of Dizzy, sort of. Uh, it. Dizzy and testament are both gears. Yes, the titular entities. Yeah, which are a sort of uh, bio weapon essentially. But yes, and uh, testament. Actually, hold on. Is testament a gear? I can't remember. I think I think testament is a gear. <laughs> uh, this is why I was hesitant to uh, mention the lore, despite the fact that I usually love lore. Right, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of framiness here. Alright, that is not what I should have done. I wanted to chestnut. There we go. Hmm. Alright, this is probably not going to go very well for us, but we're going to see... Oh, now that almost went well for us, actually. Anyway, so Testament was sort of a... Uh... At one point in the lore, was in a uh, rather that was odd. Everything that's going on right now is kind of odd, to be fair. But you figured out the secret slow mo mode. All right, all right. All right, all right. Yeah, I mean, knock, knock Testament out of uh, range of following through on that, but I need to do more Ice Pillars, I think. Oops, uh oh. Alright, alright. Mm. Alright. Okay, I, <laughs> I got a bit ahead of myself there. Oh well. Anyway, so, Dustin was kind of having a rough time in life and uh, found a sort of sense of purpose in uh, in having an, uh, in being friends with Dizzy, basically. Protecting Dizzy, I guess, more so. Yeah, that was not, uh... yeah, I do not blame my opponent there for not wanting to rematch. That was kind of a questionable connection. Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, so I can't combo into it like that. I can combo into it like that, though. Hmm. Well. Oh well. Ah, oh, we got another Dizzy. A live Dizzy, apparently. All right, let's see if Dizzy has anything interesting to say to herself. Hey, there we go. Not skipping the intro. Very good. Goodbye, my friend. And hello, my friend. I'll go to the bazaar out in town. Sounds like a plan. And I'll start cooking up snacks. Multitasking. All right, let's go for it. Ooh, okay. I think they've got some some dizzy tech that I uh that I have not cooked up yet. All right. Very aggressive with their swords. Ooh. All right, all right. I can re I can respect this. I like what I'm seeing. All right, that was a little bit reckless of me, but it did turn out well enough, so I can't complain. Well, it does seem like the ice pillar being so spiky might be a bit of an issue. Whoop. I could probably have punished that. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. Again, anti-air. Didn't anti-air very well. Yeah, I'll be fine. I don't need to stand. I can fly. But yes. Anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, okay. So yeah, this is an, uh, an instance where we can see a thing that's neat about Dizzy. Yeah, when she uses her ice pillar, she can then uh, freeze the ground. And I feel like that's probably... Honestly, that's probably something I maybe should be doing more. Because, yeah, that would allow me to sort of uh, move forward while using my uh, heavy slash. Now that I think about it. All right, yeah, that was, uh, I didn't follow through on that very well. Oops. Did not respect the chestnut. All right, did not, did not respect anything there. I just kind of, uh, went for it and, uh, don't know quite what I was trying to achieve. A victory, I guess, but didn't turn out so well. Yeah, anyway, so once the pillar's, like, up, basically it's no longer an issue. I'm definitely getting a lot more... I'm getting a lot of Mikhail swords that I probably shouldn't be getting. Yeah, I think maybe people don't realize that you can block it pretty pretty easily if I, uh, if I don't get the freeze. Alright, I was getting... I got a little bit greedy there. And I was punished for it. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, unceremonious. Yeah, that was very fun. But yes, I feel like I've learned a little bit about Dizzy. Very good, very good. I definitely want a rematch. There's still so much to be gained from this fight. Oh. Yeah, so anyway, so when the ground is frozen, it's slippery. Probably that's uh, it's fairly intuitive. That was a pretty good punish. Alright, could have done something there, but yeah. I kind of didn't expect that. I didn't think it would... Uh, I didn't think I'd get the wall bounce so quickly. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Oh, I 
for a second there, I, I got a little bit confused about where I was. The good thing that we had the arrow pointing. Alright, yeah, didn't capitalize on that. My sweep has pretty good range on it. I should probably be using that more often. We had a lot of good success against Johnny with it. Alright, we need to be mindful of the fish. Maybe I could have, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Done something to, like, get it to activate earlier. So, yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, I think they don't recognize quite how to, uh, ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But they are going to lose a lot of meter from blocking this. Granted, I'm going to lose my entire meter, but... Unfortunate. Actually, they didn't lose any meter, I don't think. At least, not substantially more from after the... than they lost from the initial, uh, blocking. The initial faultless. Tip. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that fireball. I feel like I've walked into it before. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. It might have had to have been lower for me to. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I can. I'm glad I'm not the only one who uh, doesn't always convert off of a an ice pillar. Honestly, I should be using my Ice Pillars more, I think. Um, oh yeah, great example of that. Very good. Yeah, I definitely think I'm... I have decent fundamentals. I have decent fundamentals, but I definitely... Uh, or rather, maybe not fundamentals, but I'm like okay at playing my character. I have a decent game sense for Dizzy. But yeah. Some of the, uh... I'm struggling to use some of the universal mechanics, like, uh... I don't use Psych Burst very often, I don't pants... Well, I don't know, maybe that's a little bit advanced, but yeah. I don't Psych Burst very often, even when it would, like, save me. Hmm. Alright, alright. Alright. I'm gonna be a little bit serious. So yeah, I don't faultless basically ever. Um Hey. <laughs> uh so yeah, I don't faultless basically ever. I don't psych burst very often. So yeah, basically the only reason I did there is just because I sort of had talked about it and so I thought, oh, Right, that's a thing I can do. Um, but yeah, sort of reviewing my performance. We've been doing pretty well. I've been learning a lot. I've sort of gotten better, I think, at uh, capitalizing. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, not great with poking, but I'm pretty good with pressure. Yeah, I think... Yeah, okay. Being aggressive is something I'm pretty good at. And not being aggressive is something I'm pretty bad at. So I don't really block when I should do a lot of the time, or rather when I'm blocking I tend to sort of mash out of block and end up getting hit. Yeah, I don't wait for safe opportunities to retaliate or anything like that. <laughs> I think this will probably be my last match. I wasn't planning on going later than 11. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Welcome back, bird. Can't forget that last flower. Yeah, just dropping by to give me a little gift before before uh, heading out. Doesn't want to be involved in the fight, I suppose. Let us do. Let us indeed. All right, all right. All right, I 
feel like I should have, yeah, okay. Be defensive, ooh, alright. Oh dear. Maybe I'm being a little bit too defensive. Ah, oh, well that was definitely not me being too defensive, I can tell you that much. Very good, very good. I hesitate to say I capitalized on that because I really didn't do anything, but... Very good. I did not read that. <laughs> I did not read that. I was just kind of throwing out a heavy, uh, a heavy Mikhail sword with no, uh, completely unprompted and to, uh, probably no avail. But it did turn out pretty well, so. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Turnabout's fair play. Ooh. Oh, I was trying to grab him, but I was too late. All right. Say hello to my fish. We talk a lot together, you see. Ah. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get a flying fish and uh, see how that uh, how he reacted to it, but uh, now he punished. Ooh, I didn't block the uh, the low that time. Ah. All right, all right. Um, yeah, that's me gone. Oh no. Okay, I'm, I'm alive, but I'm probably not going to be for very long, yeah. I'm not quite sure why that went through, I guess, no. I don't think I got chipped out. Hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. I did say I was going to have that be the last. But we can do some rematching, I think. Okay, I was going to say, maybe not. Alright, there we go. Alright, I should... <laughs> I don't know why I started throwing out heavy foul swords, just like, unprompted. I should like, not do that. Or maybe I should continue doing that, because it like, worked, so... Alright, I should... <laughs> okay. Okay. It was funny the second. It was funny like the first time it worked after I said it wouldn't work. It was funny the first time, but I need to stop doing that, otherwise we're actually going to lose. All right, it's got a pretty predictable intro. Unfortunately, I keep messing up my timings on like trying to uh, avoid the thrill. And now my alarm's going off, and I'm pinned against the wall, and I'm going to fly across the city. Oh well. Pretty good. But yeah, I need to get like pressure immediately. Yeah, if I just let this Nagori Yuki do whatever he wants, it's gonna be bad for me. So. Yeah, he's not responded very well to my pressure in the past, but the problem is I don't respond very well to his pressure either. Alright, so, if he, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, if he does, like, basically anything, he's done, but there we go, yeah. Yeah, honestly, with the timing on that, it could very well be that there was nothing he could do about that. Alright. Be mindful. Ah, I keep trying to, uh, anticipate something that, like, doesn't happen. All right, I don't... Uh, all right, again, I'm getting too uh, careless with the Mikhail Swords, but that's a great opportunity to punish. Hmm. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. If I had, yeah, if I hadn't bursted so early, I could have done, I could have gotten back from that. Yeah, the mix-ups are definitely uh, not good for me. Alright, well. Oh, are you good? Alright.
Very good. Hmm. Alright, no, that was uh, very bad. <coughs> yeah. Nagoro Yuki is not super fast on his own, but he can definitely get a move on when he needs to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, we need to put on a little bit of pressure. Uh-oh. I think Nagoro Yuki is uh, AFK. Well, it is what it is. A little bit of an anticlimax, but I would have felt bad winning off of him not being there. Probably the game would have ended before uh, before he got back. Or, yeah, the game would have ended before it, like... The game probably would have ended before I... Uh, manage to actually complete that and, you know, get any sort of score for it. But I'm glad I stood by my convictions and didn't attack. So anyway, time to wrap up. Guilty Gear. That was a lot of fun. I was expecting to uh, go through a lot more trouble, but I feel like I picked up Dizzy pretty well. I struggled. Uh, I mentioned before that I had been trying to play Guilty and Revelator but uh, I didn't have much success. In general, I didn't have that much success in Revelator because I, uh, I don't know, I'm not, uh, I'm not super experienced with fighting games, so more complex games definitely are a pretty big challenge for me to get into. But yeah, I know some people have decried it. I've definitely seen a lot of people who are a little bit disappointed that Strive is a much simpler game than previous uh, Guilty Gear games. And I can understand that. I can definitely... There are definitely parts of it that I don't like. But it has definitely made it easier for me to get into. So yeah. That's it. Yeah. Honestly, I started playing Dizzy mostly just because I wanted to play the new character. But, you've done pretty good, honestly. And I sort of... I've feel like I, I get it, you know? I feel like I understand the character pretty well from sort of having played similar characters in the past. So, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming a whole lot of Guilty Gear going forward, but I can definitely see myself doing some more, or playing some more Dizzy off, off camera. But yes. So, with that, that brings us to the end of the stream. So, if anyone has any raised suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them, as always. If not, I can find a target myself. And let's see, let's see, let's see. So yeah, so I haven't spoken to chefs about Lab this week. I think, if I'm reckoning correctly, this might be an off week, or rather an off week for, uh, an off week for the collab. Um, but again, I should probably just ask instead of just <laughs> assuming, because things can change. But yes. Um. But yeah. Anyway, I know I've been off of streaming. Uh, I have not been streaming very consistently lately, but I hope to uh, change that. Yeah. Again, once I sort of, yeah, all sorts of things can throw me off my rhythm. Just, you know, general life stuff. Nothing major has gone on. Don't worry about that. But, um, but yeah. Things can throw me off my rhythm very easily. And then once I'm off my rhythm, I sort of start to, to worry. Oh, no. If I, if I get back, will I, you know, will I enjoy it? Will I be able to put on a good stream? All that sort of stuff. But yeah, I get nervous very, very easily about it. About streaming. And sort of... Being in the, the habit of streaming definitely helps a lot with that because I sort of, you know, it puts me in a state where I'm just like, oh yeah, of course I'll stream today because I streamed this, I streamed at this time last week and I streamed at this time the week before. I can keep doing that. Yeah. Once it sort of becomes automatic, it's very easy. But up until that point, I sort of, or yeah, when I'm not at that point, I tend to worry, you know, will, how will this turn out? All that sort of stuff. But it is what it is. But yeah. 
I am looking into uh, getting some treatment for anxiety. So hopefully that will help out a little bit. Yeah, anyway. So. Yeah, and I should say, uh, at this point, uh, having spoken to a professional, we are reasonably confident that I do have some sort of anxiety. So, not sort of self-diagnosing myself on the internet there. Yeah, anyway. So, where was I? Okay. <laughs> I said a whole lot there, basically, to say I don't know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm not going to make a whole lot of commitments for this week in general, or for the weeks to come, but I definitely do want to stream more, and I don't know. It might be... Might be... I might be doing a little bit... Of, yeah. I might be doing some more sort of... Uh, off streams of not sort of uh, the main project Arknights just until I get back into things because yeah again you know I don't necessarily need to worry about it but I do like to uh, can I think of Arknights as being sort of a project it's a sort of a major thing that I'm that I'm doing here whereas this is sort of a uh, a side uh, something I'm just doing for fun basically <coughs> on the side yeah, and I don't feel as, don't feel that I need to, yeah, I don't feel as much need to try to sort of present the story or the mechanics as well, or like to any, any real degree of uh, proficiency. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Again, it's not like, yeah, even on my worst Arknight streaming days, the streams have gone fine. So, I really shouldn't worry about it so much, but I do want to, uh, yeah. On the one hand, I don't want to worry, but on the other hand, I do want to hold myself to certain standards. Because I do definitely want to be a streamer who is, like, uh, plays games in a sort of thoughtful way, and is able to present clearly, and knows what he's talking about when he's talking about the games that he's playing. Yeah, that is, the people who can do that sort of thing, who can inform and entertain simultaneously, I definitely look up to a lot. That's, you know, I'm not just being negative on myself for no reason. It is a goal that I am trying to achieve. But, anyway. Anyway. Not seeing any raid suggestions, so I think we're going to go and visit Luminous Lee tonight who's playing some Voices of the Void, which is a game of some sort. I know that uh, you, uh, I think you are like an operator of sort of a, like a SETI station, like basically a place that is sort of looking for uh, aliens, looking into aliens. Yeah, I don't know much about the gameplay of uh, Voices of the Void or of the content of it, but yeah, so I can't say much about the game itself. But anyway, anyway, Luminous Lee is a, another VTuber, a night VTuber, lady night VTuber. And yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say in any great detail. Once again, I'm not holding myself very strictly to any schedule right now. Probably not going to be seeing as much Arc Knights in the immediate future as we, uh, might otherwise, but I definitely want to get back into it as soon as I can. So yeah, we might see some more Guilty Gear, we might see some more Umamusume, we might see some more uh, Mika and the Witch's Mountain. We shall see. But yes. So, raid message, customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>